So it's rainy, it's cold, it's winter time in Pennsylvania. The weather is disappointing. You know what's also disappointing? Getting a new 4K television that looks awesome at the store. Getting it home, hooking it up, and turning on your favorite HD cable channel and being disappointed with the picture quality. It happens more often than you think. I'm gonna tell you why that is, what is the cause of it, the main culprit anyhow, what you can do to fix it or avoid it. Today we're talking about video processing. Most people that have shopped for a new television recently are familiar with 4K. They know that it's the latest and greatest cutting edge technology and 4K means more resolution, double the resolution of what we've been used to and a t doubly sharp picture. Uh, and when they go to their local big box showroom floor and they see these TVs, they can pretty much confirm that. They look amazing. So why is it that when they get them home and they turn on a cable station, they are not impressed? Well, the main reason is video processing. It's not something that is listed as a feature when you look at the TV um, sign card that has the price and the features on it. It's not included in there. It's not something that's really talked about a whole lot. Uh, and so people just don't know that video processing is important. And what we talk, what we mean when we talk about video processing is the process by which the TV makes the image fit the screen properly and display the colors properly. So we're going to talk about those aspects of video processing. I'm going to walk you through scaling and color decoding are the two primary things that it's doing. So let's take a look at what those are and how it affects the picture. 4K televisions have twice as much resolution as the last generation of TVs. They have 3,840 pixels going across the top of the image and 2,160 pixels going up and down the side of the image. It's tw double the resolution and can be a much sharper picture than what we're used to from past televisions. And what most people don't realize is that anytime you're, you see a 4K TV that's showing you a full screen image, you're seeing 4K resolution. All the dots are being used and it's 4K. Uh, what's not always th the case is that the content that you're watching may not have been and probably wasn't recorded in 4K. More and more 4K content's becoming available, but for the most part, we're still watching the things that we're used to in everyday life, like cable television, um, Blu-ray disc movies, uh, video games, and things like that that weren't necessarily recorded in 4K. So let's talk about the first aspect of video processing, which is scaling and what the TV has to do to these lower resolution images. So like I mentioned, broadcast television is recorded and broadcast in 720p or 1080i. Um, Blu-ray players and video game consoles generally output in 1080p streaming content that you get from the internet as well as some of the on-demand stuff you watch through your cable or satellite provider is normally 1080p as well and can be 4k in fact that's the primary place where most people are watching 4k content and then lastly there are 4k ultra hd discs that unquestionably provide the most beautiful and stunning image when it comes to 4k but obviously the format people are getting kind of tired of discs so that format's probably not really long for this world. What would it look like if we went to watch an HD cable show that was broadcast in 720p on a 4K set without the TV doing any scaling whatsoever? It would look like this. That is a 1280 by 720 image on a 4K TV. And you can see that there is a ton of missing information. And the TV basically has to interpret the 720p image and fill in all that missing information in order to fill the screen. So you can see there's a ton of information that the TV has to fill in there. And a 1920 by 1080 picture, or a 1080p or 1080i picture, isn't a whole lot different. It's a little bit bigger, but still a lot of missing information there And in order to get to the full screen image. Because uh, let's face it, if you pay for 65 inches of television, you want to see 65 inches of picture all the time. We don't want to watch a small image with a bunch of black surrounding it. That's no good. So the better job the TV does with that, with that process of scaling the image up, the more acceptable the picture is going to look, the more enjoyable it's going to look. And if it does a bad job, obviously the opposite's true. So that's the scaling aspect of video processing. And we'll talk just briefly about the other aspect, which is color decoding. And that's basically where 
the TV unpacks the color signal and interprets it and uh, combines all the channels together to make the full color picture. So it takes the, the three separate channels and overlays them, does some processing in order to come up with a full color image. And the better, the, the better job the TV does with that part of it, the more lifelike, the more accurate and enjoyable the colors will be. So if a TV does a bad job with the video processing, you'll notice a few things. First, the picture will be overly soft, um, not much fine detail. You'll notice a lot of artifacts, um, blocky looking noise around edges. Motion will be juddery and blurry, excessively so. Um, you'll see in gradations of color where there's supposed to be a nice smooth transition from dark to light you'll see clear separation or banding. Those are all indicators that the TV's struggling when it comes to the processing of the video. Now, what can you do in order to avoid this situation or rectify the situation depending on where you're at in the purchasing phase? Well, uh, like I said before, they don't really talk much about or mention video processing in the feature set of or specifications of these TVs. It's just not something that they usually list. So if you're in the buying phase, the best thing that you can do is read reviews about particular televisions that you're considering and pay close attention to what the reviewer says about the video processing and its ability to handle non-4K signals um, and how those look on the screen where it ranks in his mind or her mind uh, as it relates to video processing. If you've already purchased the TV and you feel like your, your television's suffering from some of these indicators of bad video processing, there is something that you can do. They do make um, outboard video scalers that can handle that process instead of the television. And some of them are really common. Um, for example, you could get an audio video receiver, the nicer ones, have uh, nice video processors built into them that do a better job than most of the televisions out there. And let's face it, if you have a really nice television and you want that cinematic experience, you're gonna wanna have an audio video receiver anyhow for the sound portion of it. So I've just given you another reason to get one. Um, they also make specific video processors that are only video processors. There's not a lot of them out there anymore, but you can find a, a couple of them that is basically just a little box that all it does is process the video uh, in a better way than your TV might. And then lastly, you could get a Blu-ray player that upscales to 4K. Um, obviously, that's going to mostly help if you're watching Blu-ray or DVD movies, but some of them also have the streaming apps built in, Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime, and it will also scale those up. So those are some outboard scalers that uh, if you've already bought a television and you feel like it's not doing a great job with that video processing, then you can get something else outside of your TV to handle that and hopefully it'll be a little bit better. But the best thing that you can do in, to just get a great picture out of your 4K TV is watch more 4K. If you feed a 4K TV 4K content, there's very little processing it has to do and it's probably going to look great. In fact, that's how they showed it to you at the big box showroom floor. They all are showing 4K content on those, and you probably thought it looked awesome. It does. So just watch more 4K. And I hope that you found this video to be helpful. Uh, hopefully you have a better understanding of video processing and its importance in getting a great picture. Thanks again for checking out the video. See you next time.